So what is power leveling, and how do you do it? You know, why would you want to do it? Hi guys, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much, and welcome to Dragon Ball Gaming, where we help gamers be the best they can be. Uh, so when we're talking about power leveling, uh, what we're really talking about and how it fits into power gaming is just simply, uh, for those that don't know, I wanted to kind of brief, briefly share that power leveling is just simply, uh, you know, leveling whether it's your characters, your items. Uh, to as powerful as possible as quickly as possible and it usually the connotation implies that it's you know above and beyond or faster than the developers intend you to level uh, and so why would you want a power level so uh, there's a few different reasons so for for me for kind of power gamers like myself or just you know people that really want to get the most out of their game uh, and really push the limits of a game uh, just to see what all you can do it's it's really fun to see you know how different interactions play and how you can get really powerful really quickly uh, another reason would be just simply if you're just kind of going through uh, kind of casual but uh, you get kind of stuck right you just uh, something happens and you uh, and, and you're just kind of grinding out uh, trying to get you know on a previous level or boss stage whatever it is uh, just to get just enough power so that you can beat the thing that's kind of you know holding you back or that's uh, that's kind of gating you from progressing uh, so knowing kind of these power leveling tactics, <coughs> you can really like you know jumpstart your uh, your power in the game and, and really pull ahead. So uh, uh, and how you do it is uh, is pretty simple, but it is I will say it depends of course you know on the the game that you're playing exactly the steps to do. But usually it's a combination of uh, repeating a certain action, uh, whether it's you know killing a certain monster or going to somewhere. It's a uh, and really just you know making sure that you're doing this action uh, and it's you know, so it might feel like a little grindy but the the point is is that it's uh, even if it is a feeling a little grindy it's the faster way than simply doing it the way the developers intend you uh, whether like mindlessly killing like the same monster or something so uh, uh, so to help you guys out just as like an example if you guys have played or heard of uh, Final Fantasy 14 uh, so online you know massive multiplayer game and uh, to give you an example, there's a class called the Blue Mage. Uh, and for those that know, it's kind of a secondary class, right? You don't start with it at the beginning, uh, but you can unlock it. And, uh, and so if we're going to, I think in like the max level is like level 60, say for the Blue Mage. So if you wanted to get to 1 to 60 on any other class, it'd take you hours and hours uh, of time just to, to build up to that much experience to get to that level. Uh, just in various you know quests, you know dungeons, what have you, to, you know to try to get there quicker, of course. But uh, and they made Blue Mage a little bit easier so that it gets a little bit more XP quicker. But it'd still take you several hours to get to that level 60. Uh, but people have found out, and, I, and one of the ways that I did it is that you can get from one to 60 in just a single hour, and that's it. And and really, it's just this combination of you know it's it's killing a very specific monster in a very specific area, and you have to have a friend. Uh, with you to, to really have the, the game mechanic, you know, the tactic around it so that they can tag it and you can kill it. Or you you tag the other way around. Uh, but really, it's so you can go from 0 to, to 60, from 1 to 60 in, in an hour. Uh, and so that's really like kind of the, the a key example of, of power leveling. Uh, and you can use this in all sorts of other games, whether it's these, you know, these Final Fantasy games, whether it's, uh, uh, I enjoy the uh, Disgaea games. And that's a game where you really want to power level, even like focusing on like the single hero uh, that, you know, have them do kind of everything because, you know, they get exponential power, right? So that's, uh, so you put all your effort into this person and then they can kind of wade through everything and get you further along and faster uh, that you need. Now, uh, there are some games where it works pretty well and maybe not as well when you have, you know, something like a, a newer game that's out called... Uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity. I'm having a lot of fun with that game and that's where you can power level and focus on a single character, right? And so it's Legend of Zelda so you can pick like Link, Zelda, uh, Impa's another great one where you can just kind of focus all your efforts uh, and level up one character. Uh, the, the game does have a few times where they kind of force you to do certain challenge missions with certain characters so uh, so you can't do it 100% of the time but I'd say like 90% plus of the game you can have the same character so uh, so it tends to work out pretty well so so guys uh, I hope this has been helpful as far as just kind of the uh, basics as far as what power leveling is and 
how, why you can use it. And uh, if you had specific questions about uh, specific games, like how, you know, specifically in, you know, Hyrule Warriors, for example, that, uh, that you wanted to know how to power level on those, uh, you know, drop me a comment down below. I'd uh, love to know what you guys are interested in, and uh, maybe I can create a video on it. All right, so thank, hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks so much.